BDK just released a new fragrance called Velvet Tonka. When I saw the promo images for it, I knew that I needed the fragrance and I ordered it within probably about two hours of it being released. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, then just keep watching. into the video I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here my name is Aisha I make videos about fragrance beauty luxury and lifestyle if those are things you're into please consider subscribing and if you are a returning subscriber hey y'all welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title this video is part of my love like or let down series so if you've never seen any of the videos in this series it's basically where i open the fragrance with you guys on camera for the very first time sniff it for the very first time and then i come back within the same video and share with you guys my thoughts on it and let you know at the end if it's a love like or a let down so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing portion of this video okay so here is my box and i'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance if you hear the tv or if you hear my kids today is saturday and my husband's not home so you know it is what it is i really wanted to start this video and go ahead and open this package i've been super excited so here's my box when i open it up it has this inside and as you can see i haven't opened this at all but this is a card just a postcard don't really know what that's for <laughs> this says it's an editorial so it's a little bit about the brand it seems from the back. remember what i told you give me five minutes okay okay thank you Catherine. yes close the door five minutes okay but this car is just like a little bit about the brand and then on this card it is like a thank you note which is cute it's handwritten so that's cool and then we got the package here i've never ordered directly from bdk so this is my first time getting the package from them and it is nicely wrapped in there so with every order right now they are sending out a sample of this fragrance but we're not going to smell the sample because this is a first impressions <laughs> so here is the box there it is unwrapped i really like the color of this box it's kind of like a mauve color and like the other bdk fragrances it does have the notes here on the front i'm not sure if that's the full listing of notes or just what they determine as the key notes but um they are on the front of all the bdk boxes i haven't really looked at them so um when i saw the notes initially for the fragrance i was very intrigued and i saw the name and i was very intrigued because i love tonka bean and so I was just, I knew I had to have it. So um, this is what the bottle looks like. And it is very pretty. I really like it. It looks a little bit more high class than like Rouge Smoking. Just because the Rouge Smoking cap is black, which I like the Rouge Smoking bottle, but the gold cap really kind of takes it up a level along with the gold accent. So I do really like the bottle. So let's take it out. I really hope I love this, y'all. <laughs> I was just making sure this is a clean one. So let's spray our card first. Mmm, this is good. So it's sweet. It smells like there is some cherry and tonka bean in there. I'm not sure if cherry is a note, but it definitely smells like there is some cherry to it. And it kind of has, I can definitely smell the almond in it as well if there's almond <laughs> y'all know I don't look at the notes beforehand like I've seen them but I don't remember them but yeah I am liking this so far and surprisingly it kind of gives me the same kind of feel as root smoking how root smoking is kind of even though there are heavy notes in root smoking I feel like it's kind of more of a translucent scent more of a sheer scent and so you can get away wearing it year round I'm kind of feeling away that same way about this right now even though these are heavier notes it doesn't feel like a heavy fragrance Mmm, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna spray it on. I'm not going anywhere right now. And when I do go somewhere later, I'll be taking a shower beforehand. So I'm really spraying it so I can smell it on myself so I can get this first day of testing. Like, give, <laughs> give it a good wear <laughs> and a fair chance. So yeah, that's gross. <laughs> Smells good, but tastes gross, but. I'm liking it so far. I'm going to let this dry my skin 
for a few minutes and then I'll turn the camera back on. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes and I am really loving the way this smells. I definitely get cherry, almond, and the tonka bean. It smells very good, like a gourmand, but it's not too heavy and not too sweet. And this is like a translucent scent. I don't know that BDK really does bee smoke fragrances. I can tell you right now, this is not gonna be bee smoke but I'm smelling it on myself and I am enjoying it right now. So I will come back for you guys in a couple seconds. For me, it'll probably be about three days of wearing it. And I'll let you know, guys know what I think, what I think about it at that point. So for me, I always like to rate this initially. Is it a love like or let down when I first smell it? And then at the end, of course, after I've worn it and factored in all the other things besides the smell, then I come back at the end and really let you know what I think. And sometimes it changes drastically. <laughs> And sometimes it stays the same. So right now, if I had to rate this just based on smell and how it smells on my skin, I'm rating it a love. Can y'all tell? <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys for me, like I said, a few days for you, a few seconds. So I'm back and it's been four days. I've been wearing this fragrance pretty much day and night trying to test it out for you guys. So I'm here to share my thoughts with you. So first up, let's kind of go over again how I think it smells. So I still think that it smells like cherry and tonka bean mixed. Although cherry is not listed as a note in here, I believe it's the almond that gives it that cherry vibe. But to me, it does smell like a kind of like powdery cherry, almond, tonka bean mix. And definitely maybe some vanilla in there as well. The overall vibe it gives me is very like cozy and comforting, but at the same time, not very heavy. So although I'm calling it cozy and comforting, I still think it's appropriate for this time of year because it's not heavy at all. It's actually pretty lightweight on the skin and it has been really hot. It hasn't been super sunny here over the past couple of days, but it's been very hot and very humid. And there was never a time that I felt that this was overpowering on me. Now I will say as the fragrance dries down, I lose some of that cherry and it becomes just more of a powdery tonka on my skin. I know there are some woods in this fragrance, but on my skin, I really don't get that at all. I don't smell anything woody in this. I don't smell the orange blossom in this. I really only smell like powdery tonka and vanilla and almond. So this fragrance is marketed as unisex and I do think it's unisex. I can definitely picture a man wearing this. However, I think it may lean a tad bit more on the feminine side, but I definitely could see a man wearing this. So um, it is a unisex fragrance in my opinion. So let's discuss the projection and longevity of this fragrance. This fragrance I find to be similar to some other BDK fragrances that I've tried in that the projection is lacking and the longevity is lacking, unfortunately. <laughs> Now, the projection issue, I don't think is a big deal because they released this in the summertime, right? So I don't think it's meant to project. I think it's meant to be like a more of a personal scent. However, on my skin, I feel like somebody who's standing pretty close to me can smell it when I initially spray it. So let's say about four to five feet away from me, they can still smell it when I first spray it. But after about, I would say like two hours, it turns into a skin scent on me. And I've tested this out. I have like walked around my husband and asked him if he could smell me like after wearing it for a couple hours just to see what he thought. And he couldn't smell me. So it has definitely turned into a skin scent on my skin after about two hours. Now overall, the longevity on my skin is probably about five hours, which, you know, it's, you know, that's personal preference. So I personally would like this fragrance to last longer. Um, I would say probably about seven hours. But really what's the biggest downfall to me is that it turns into a skin scent so quickly on me. Even when I spray this on my clothes, of course it lasts a little bit longer. But like I said, it turns into a skin scent after about two hours. And I personally would love that if, if it lasted like at least four hours without turning into a skin scent, that would be fine with me. But I do love the smell of this, guys. I just wish I could smell it more. So <laughs> I have something to show you guys so you can see. This is what my bottle looks like now. I've been using this for four days. I've been over spraying this. Now, granted, when I say I've been using it four days, I've been using it day and night. So that's at least twice a day for four days. So technically I've worn it about eight times, 
but I find that this is a fragrance that I need to touch up. So the other, or yesterday I wore it to work and I took a little small decant of it with me, like a three ml decant, not much. It didn't take much out of this and I actually used the entire thing <laughs> at work. It probably wasn't three ml, it's probably more like one ml, let's say. <laughs> but I used the entire thing at work. So you can see how much of this bottle I've used. I'll turn it upside down because sometimes I feel like that makes it easier to see. But I feel like that's a lot for only four days. Take that as you will. <laughs> so because of the cozy nature of this fragrance, I think it would be perfect to wear to bed. <laughs> now I wouldn't buy a fragrance just to wear to bed, but I've enjoyed wearing this to bed lately. And yeah, I, I love it for bedtime. I also think it would be great for a like snuggle date. So like Netflix and chill type moment. I think it would be perfect for that. I also think that this fragrance would be just a good everyday fragrance if you love this type of smell. Now, as far as the time of the year or the weather to wear this, I definitely think that because of the lightweight nature of this, you can wear it year round. Like I said, it's very hot where I live and I've been wearing it. And because it's so light, it's never felt overpowering. I am interested to see how this does in cold weather. I don't know if it's gonna project enough, but who knows, maybe in the cold, it'll perform better. But I think the smell of it does smell like a cold weather scent in a way. However, the lightness and like translucent nature of this fragrance makes it year round appropriate. Okay, so now for the comparisons. Now, sometimes when I do these videos, I don't have really much to compare it to, but this particular fragrance reminds me of a lot of fragrances in my collection. And I think it's because I love that almond cherry tonka combination. So I have four fragrances that I'm gonna quickly compare it to. I will go ahead and say that none of them are dupes, but they are similar in some sort of way. So if you own any of these four fragrances or you have smelled them before, then that may give you a better idea of, of how this fragrance smells. So first up is a Replica Lipstick On. Now this fragrance has been discontinued. It's no longer available, but I know a lot of you guys have smelled this and y'all know I love this fragrance. This is like one of my favorite fragrances. And I do think these smell similar. Now I will say Lipstick On is definitely, definitely more powdery, a bit more potent. Still not an overpowering scent, but it's definitely more potent more powdery, less cherry, more Tonka than Velvet Tonka. So yeah, I do think these are similar, um, similar scent profiles, but again, they are not dupes. And I definitely think that both of these can exist in a collection, no worries. Now I will say if you like lipstick on, but you thought it was maybe a little bit too powdery, then Velvet Tonka would probably be a good option for you. Next up is one from BDK, and y'all probably didn't even know I own this, but we're gonna talk about that in an upcoming video. <laughs> but this is Rouge Smoking, and I felt like these don't smell alike, but I do think the cherry note that is in Velvet Taka is very similar to the cherry that's in Rouge Smoking. And it's that fizzy kind of fun cherry, almost like a cherry coke type cherry. But in Velvet Tonka, it is not, it doesn't go that soda route that I feel like I get from Rouge Smoking. So um, just keep that in mind. These do not smell the same, but I do feel like the cherry is a bit similar in them. So next one up is Lost Cherry. And you guys know I love this fragrance. And to me, Lost Cherry is that boozy cherry almond scent that just drives me crazy. Velvet Tonka, the cherry in this is similar to Lost Cherry. I do not think these are dupes. No way, no how. <laughs> However, their performance is a little bit similar, although I think Lost Cherry is a little bit better on my skin anyway, um, as far as performance goes. But I definitely was reminded of Lost Cherry when I smelled Vel Velvet Tonka. So although they're not dupes, I do think that if you like Lost Cherry, you will like the smell of Velvet Tonka. And then lastly, I felt like I should compare this to Feb Delicious because to me, this is like the standard Tonka bean scent, and this is called Velvet Tonka, so we know Tonka is prominent in this. And I do think the Tonka is similar in Velvet Tonka to Feb Delicious, but again, it's not as potent in Velvet Tonka as it is in Feb. Feb to me is more of a cold weather scent. I can't really wear Feb in the heat um, outside. Now, I definitely can wear this year round at home if I'm going to bed or whatever, but it's a bit too much and too heavy and can get a bit powdery if you 
a bit too powdery if you overspray it a ton. Whereas with Velvet Tonka, although the smell is similar, because of the way it's formulated and because of the lightness of it, this would definitely be a year round thing. So if you love Fev, you will probably love Velvet Tonka as well, but just know that Velvet Tonka is nowhere near as potent as Fev is. All right, so those were all the comparisons. I know it was a lot, but I felt like it's gonna be hard for a lot of you guys to get your nose on this fragrance. So I really wanted to compare it to some like other known fragrances just in case you're interested. So moving on to uniqueness, I know that I just compared it to four other fragrances, but I told you guys, none of them were dupes. And so in that way, I do think that this fragrance is unique. And those four fragrances I compared it to are also unique in my opinion. So it makes complete sense to me. <laughs> I feel like this is unique in my collection, although it does remind me of other things. There's nothing that to me smells exactly like this. Now for the price. This is a 100 ml bottle and it retails for $205. It also comes in a 10 ml travel spray and that retails for $45. So we're finally at the point where I'm going to tell you guys if this is a love, a like, or a letdown for me. But first, I want you to put it down below. What do you think this fragrance turns out to be for me? Do you think it's a love? Do you think it's a like? Do you think it's a letdown? I'm giving you time because I really want you to be typing this in the comments. No cheating, you can pause. Okay, so are you done? If so, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys. So for me, this fragrance is a dun dun dun, dun like. <laughs> I really thought this was gonna be a love. I love the smell of this fragrance. It's just the fact that it turns into a skin scent after two hours on me. That's my big deal with it. Of course, I can respray it, but I feel like I want a scent to be present on me for about four hours before I need to respray. And two hours, I think, is a too quick of a turnaround for a niche fragrance. Now, I know BDK is kind of well-priced when you compare them to other niche houses. However, it's still $205 and to me that's no chump change and I don't care about using up my fragrance. It's not really that, but honestly, I don't want to carry this big bottle around with me. Yes, I can decan it and that is what I will do. I am keeping this fragrance. However, I just wish it lasted longer. So BDK, if you're watching this video, please, please, can we work on making the fragrances smell as good as they smell? but having them last a bit longer because I know I'm not the only person that has these issues. Now, if you watch my video on Rouge Smoking, which I will link for you guys, you guys know I had similar issues. So I don't know if it is my skin in the formulation or if it's just the fragrance in general because I've heard from other people with BDK fragrances that it's very long lasting on them, but that is not my experience. And even with this fragrance, I wore it this morning. Like right now, as I'm filming this, it's the afternoon, it's two o'clock. I sprayed this on at 7 a.m. and I kept smelling myself just to see, and I could not detect any of it at all after four hours. After four hours, I couldn't detect any at all. Now, mind you, it is hot and I was outside today. I wasn't running or anything like that, but I did go outside. So I don't think that it's just my imagination that the longevity is not great and that the projection is not great. It's not just my imagination. However, it may just be my skin chemistry. So, so after I initially tried this fragrance, I ended up watching Janae's video on it. She shared her first impressions of this fragrance. I will link her video down below. So you guys can check that out. And she got better longevity and projection out of it. So it may just be my skin, but I really wish that it would last it longer on me, or at least if it lasted longer before turning into a skin scent on me. So overall, I have to place it at a like. However, I can tell you right now, if I was able to get four hours, four solid hours of me smelling this on myself, then it would definitely be a love. So I'm gonna keep playing around with it. Um, maybe try to find something to layer it with that it'll layer well with and see if I can get better performance out of it. But as of right now, it's sitting at a like for me. So if you guys have tried this fragrance, let us know down below what you think. Or is this on your wish list? Did I change your mind? Did I convince you to get it? Or did this video make you decide that you don't need it? So <laughs> I'm really interested to know that. So please leave it in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also make sure you are following me over on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.